Hey, what's up guys? My name is Boda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to talk about scams, scams, and scams. We're going to call some of these new scams that are coming out. We're going to look at things you got to look for, things to be aware of, because these things are only going to ramp up, right? The one specifically today is going to be about the Superscalar K30, which is fake, but it's just going to be good learning lessons for any future scams, because there will be more. Right? There are all these rumblings of these Radiant ASICs, and we know that they're going to sell out fast, they're going to be insanely profitable, and people are going to get scammed, unfortunately. Right? So we're going to talk about things you want to look for and what to do about it. Right? So if that sounds good, guys, stay tuned. Let's get to it. So just want to start off with this. Right? If you see any scam, a lot of you guys are extremely knowledgeable in this community, more so than me even. If you see any of these scams, please call them out, right? Regardless of who it is, regardless of how big they are, what it is, call it out, do something about it, right? F their feelings, 99% of the time, they it was an accident, right? It wasn't done on purpose. They weren't aware, make them aware of it, and they should be deleting these things, right? So it's my biggest pet peeve out of everything and as small as this channel is this is one thing that i guarantee i will always do i don't care who you are if there's something there i will call it out right so this is one i'm pretty sure this is where a lot of you guys are getting this from because this video was posted up four days ago right so there is this video luckily both of these videos are from people out of the country right one's from india one is from somewhere else not sure what the language is but I'm pretty sure this is probably where some of you guys are asking about this thing. So it's about the Superscalar K30, which is a scam. This is fake, okay? Pretty annoying that this video is still up, even though they actually have confirmed that they know it is fake, that they know they're referencing a fake website. Okay, unfortunately, people typically don't go in the comments a lot of the time, especially with something like this. A lot of times people don't even watch the video. They see the thumbnail and they try to start researching it, right? So they did post the pinned comment saying alert, it's come to my that superscalar.org is not real. Please don't buy the miner from that website. Okay. They should have deleted the video. Okay, number one, this thing is not real. Okay, number two, what are people gonna do? Again, like I mentioned, people don't, typically don't even watch the video. They're immediately gonna Google it, try to buy this thing. Okay, they should have put it in the thumbnail delete the video, do something, get confirmation first that this thing is real, right? Which so far, all signs are pointing that it's fake. But again, they should have put something in the thumbnail, do something about it, right? Be more proactive, okay? So as soon as people see that, what are they gonna do? They're gonna Google it, right? When you Google it, which by the way, this is potentially one of the worst ways to look at this, because guess what the number one result is, or the first result? When you put in Superscalar FPGA, the fake website is what actually comes up first, okay? So people click on that website, they go on there, they look at the homepage, like, okay, this looks like theirs, Superscaler, they're selling FPGAs on here, looks like it's somewhat legit. Oh, here's that miner they were talking about, here's the K30ZX, it's doing all this, pre-order ships out in March, let me put my pre-order in, right? They don't necessarily do their due diligence, they don't necessarily go through it, and people are going to get scammed, just like they did with the early cast basics, right? So we want to do everything we can. <sighs> Not saying that they aren't, right? At least they did put that comment on there, but they should have put something in the thumbnail. Like, I get it. Like, at the end of the day, also, it's up to the people to be responsible for their own things, right? We should know better. But this is just bringing awareness to that, right? But again, anything, in my opinion, that is adding to the confusion, you should do something about, right? So, for example, when you go on here... You see it, boom, you can order it. They do have a shop, they do have like an email thing, they have linked to some socials. Looks legit until you really start seeing the things, right? Like who does like 10 packs at a time? Those should be red flags, right? So, okay, let's say like you're trying to like look it up. Okay, let me follow them on Twitter. Twitter looks, Somewhat legit, right? That's an actual thing. At super underscore scalar. That sounds like it could be it. They're followed by a big vendor, Exxon, unfortunately. A thousand followers. But as you go through, you kind of see that there's just the same like propaganda, like same advertisements over and over. 
and then there should be a red flag for you buy two get one free like when do you ever see things like that right especially for the price point on the k10 this is not something you're gonna see right those are, those should all be red flags and if you're still kind of unsure reach out right go into discords reach out to people talk to them right i'm sure they'll be able to confirm or chances are they've probably heard of it right like this is this fake website has been around since the Casper days, right? And it's still up. People are still getting scammed. I'm sure people are buying it daily, but it's our job to try to raise awareness. What does not happen to any of you guys, right? And if you guys happen to see it, people post these fake links. That way you guys can also help them out, right? Because again, it's impossible to be all over the place. These guys are all over discords, reddits, threads, Twitter, blah, 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 everywhere, right? So be aware if you're curious their actual website is superscalar.io right and if you go on there not a much better looking website right they do have a little disclaimer up here that that one's fake but again that still doesn't really mean anything because we saw that with the early ice river websites as well right there was an ice river.io which is the real one and there was a fake one and the fake one had a similar listing on here as well <laughs> a similar disclaimer i should say so always reach out, engage your network. There's a lot of knowledgeable people in the community. Go on Discord, post, whatever, right? But like verify, 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 verify. Because the last thing you want to do is send, you know, four to ten to twenty thousand dollars to a freaking scam artist, and you never get that back, right? It's not like with a credit card or something. That thing's gonna be gone, right? So when we click on their actual Twitter account, you can kind of see the differences. One funny thing is that they actually have less followers, <laughs> oddly enough. Um, but as you go through, you kind of see the content is different, right? They're reposting a lot of stuff from Tyco. They're actually writing things out. They're putting, you know, retweets to other things coming out, Alio, ZK Tech. And the one thing you kind of notice is that none of this is even talking about selling you anything, right? So versus the other one, it's just constant adverts are trying to get you to purchase trying to get you to buy right so just the kind of things you want to look for again research do your due diligence ask because a lot of these things are going to continue to happen right again like i mentioned it's potential radiant a6 coming down the line again whether it's in the short term or six months from now they're gonna come same with the lithium and we're going to continue to see these things repeat right so one of the big ones that's been around and that's still up is this fake InnoSilicon website. Because again, people have kind of heard of InnoSilicon. Like, oh yeah, I remember they made these ETH A6 before. Looks like they're getting into this game. Oh man, let me get it. Nobody's talked about it. Let me order it. And this is a fake one, right? So there's going to be more new ones. And other ones that popped in my head that were prevalent. People were asking about like a Gecko Science one. I remember there was one for a fake KS3. There was a black miner one for another fake KS3, and they're going to come back, right? I tried going back on those links, and they all did take them down eventually. But they're going to come back. They're going to have different ones. Some of them are going to look real. Some of them could make sense. Like this website's InnoSilicon.shop. This is not something we, a manufacturer we commonly talk about or a website we even go to. So you may think it's legit, right? And unfortunately, people do get scammed. People do fall for it, right? And this is something that's been around. This isn't just a recent thing with like Casper. It's been around like this Ivy Link one. This thing has been up forever, right? This is back with the K1. <laughs> I showed you how old this scam website is, right? It's just, it's crazy. So like even just Googling it, there's like links to stores that are supposedly selling it. They have it where you can buy now. And again, this may be a real website. They may be unaware but it's currently not real guys. So like even like a big website, even this is a big pool operator, this is Cryptex. They have an article talking about it, talking about these, the K30Y, the K30ZX, which again are all fake. They're all on this superscalar.org website, which is where they're getting these specs. Um, could it end up being real? Potentially, right? Maybe it did leak from the manufacturer. Maybe they just haven't talked about it, but currently confirming with them, there is only a K10. The next model is the K11, which is actually on their official website. They do have it on there. They have talked about it, but the problem is, is that when people see these things, right? They see this thing, what happens? Just like I mentioned, they go to those fake websites, they go on there and they order from there. So as of now, it does appear that the K30 is fake. Right. It may end up being real. Maybe the specs are real and they're leaking. 
but the information that they're getting it from is from a fake website. It is from here, right? Talking to the manufacturer, there's, it's not there, right? So just be very careful. And some of these are pretty good fakes, right? Even for real websites, like one that's been up and actually I didn't even reference that one, but there was a fake website for the S21 that even a lot of the big Twitter accounts I did do a video on the S21 actually talking about it because a lot of the big accounts, even like YouTubers did use the information from that website, which was a known fake website. It was very similar to like they, the layout of this one where it looked real, had the Bitmain layout, but they used the pictures from that fake website and made it on a lot of stores, used that fake picture, a lot of big Twitter accounts, lost a lot of respect for a lot of people because they even knowing it was fake, they didn't take it down. Like that's my biggest beef with all of this, right? Like if you know it's a scam, you know it's fake, 99.9% .9 chance that this was not nefarious, it was an accident, take the video down, right? Like don't scam these people, don't like do anything that could potentially scam them. Because again, between these two videos, it's almost 8,000 people who clicked on it, right? And again, what are they all doing? They're all doing this right here. Okay, so as of now, this thing is not real. It is fake. But again, like I was mentioning with this website, pretty close to the actual Bitmin. This is the actual Bitmin website. This is the fake website, right? And this is one of many. There's a ton of these. This is bitmain.com.de, right? Which, oh, it stands out because it's .de, but like when you do an actual link, like if you click on one of these, once that whole link goes out, it's very easy to miss this .de. Right. I mean, as you click on the link, if you're familiar with the website, it's going to stand out as being fake. Right. Like you're going to see these things. That's not typical. You go down on the bottom. That's not typical. You go on their website. They have links to like minor list and nice hash and ASIC minor value. They, they don't have partnerships with them. Like if you go on the bottom, you're not going to see any of that. Right. So, again, different things you want to look for. Just the overall narrative is be extremely careful. Like, yes, it's up to the individual, but. Be careful, reach out, engage your network, talk about it. I hate this crap with, oh, I don't want to give up my source. And it's like, bro, like, you want to get yourself scammed? You want to get other people get scammed? Then go for it, right? That's been another pet peeve of mine when people do that. Like, oh, sign up for my Patreon and I'll give... get out of here with that, right? We should be a community. We should be helping each other out, right? And that's the way I see it. Everybody has different views, but... Again, guys, be aware, this is only going to get worse, right? Especially with like ChatGBT and bots coming out, it's only going to be faster and easier, right? They're only going to be able to do these fake accounts, put them up, even as you delete one or ban one, we find one, another one's going to be up the next second, right? And another one, another one, another one, right? It's just, it's going to get worse, bro. So the more we're aware of it, the better we can spot it, the better we can communicate it and let people know about it, right? And that's kind of the purpose of this video. And I had to change topics, was going to do my pricing update for today. I was going to probably do it the next, either tomorrow or the day after. But this kind of took precedence. As soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, I had to talk about that. All right, guys. Well, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you guys know anybody who got scammed. If you guys have seen any other ones, talk about them. Talk about what you did to find out if it was real or not, right? Let's help each other out. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. And I am out.